Hey guys, Christina here. Just going to show you how to make a um, necklace, a Christmas necklace. I have just a penny here. You can use any coin you want. Um, just make sure that you have a bezel. This is a bezel. Any kind. Like I have, I have lots. I have um, ones with two hangy things, but it doesn't quite fit in there. But it fits in this one, so I'm going to put it in this one. Okay, so to begin with, you want your gesso, any brand. I prefer Liquitex gesso to be honest, but I don't have any right now, so just want to. You just want to let that dry. Paints. I'm going to use white and black. And when it's finished, I'm going to use this. This is Lisa Pavelka Magic Gloss. It's a UV resin, and it's um, it's a doming UV resin. I have other resin, but it's self-leveling, and you don't want you don't want self-leveling. So you put a layer of gesso on both sides of the white paint, uh, the penny. Okay, I've got my coin. I think I might put a another layer of acrylic white paint on it. Just because Jack's going to Skellington's face is very white where it's white it's very white so yeah the next thing you do is you grab your detailer brush this is a size four on zero and you get your mars black or carbon black or it doesn't really matter what black just probably not zinc i'm sorry um ivory black that's too not as strong and you paint out his eyes and his nostril holes and his mouth and the stitches and then you are done. I already have a tutorial on how to paint Jack Skellington's face. Oh, I said it right. <laughs> I didn't stumble over it this time. Yeah, I already have a tutorial. Um, it's a cock tutorial and there will be a traceable up on my Pinterest page very soon. I'm usually a day or two late with my traceables as I tend to forget. <laughs> But yeah, just paint out his eyes, do his nose holes and his stitches and you need to let him dry before you put any resin on him um, about the same time as any other acrylic painting, so three to five days. And here he is, all painted and done. Now I'm just making sure that, because I painted on the side of the penny as well, I'm just making sure that it still fits into the bezel. So just double check that you haven't added too much paint. If you have, you're probably just going to have to wipe it off or sand it off a little bit. But here he is, a little blurry. I stick my fingers in front of the camera in a minute because it's a stubborn camera and doesn't like to focus unless I wave my fingers in front of it. 
And yeah, you gotta let him dry after this. There he is. Now you grab some really sticky glue. Um, I used a Helmar, it's a really strong adhesive glue and it dries really quick. And um, I just rubbed it on the bezel. <laughs> And then I put Jack Skellington on it and I straightened him up to how I wanted him. Uh, if you're going to use E, is it E600, E6000 or whatever, don't use your fingers. Um, yeah, don't use your fingers for a lot of things. I did double check Helmar glue I can touch. Okay, to my left there, that's where the Lisa Pavelko Magic Gloss UV Resin exploded because I was rushing and I squeezed it too hard and it was blocked and it exploded all over me and the desk and yeah. Anyway, I get a spoon that I'm going to throw away. Don't use a spoon you're going to put back in the kitchen. And I poured the resin on top of Jack Skellington. And now I'm using my dotting tool to pop any bubbles I see. And then I'll get a lighter and just gently go over it, not too close, to pop any other bubbles that I can't get. And then, because the Australian sun is really hot and I don't have a UV light thingy, I go and put it in the sun for 20 minutes and it sets really hard.